Welcome again to our series on Romans as we're looking at sin, faith, and salvation. As Paul is writing to this church that's made up of a people of different backgrounds and helping them see it, their relationship with God is not about their backgrounds. Their relationship with God is through Jesus Christ. And he is showing them in Romans chapter 9 how God worked through history to bring about this purpose. Uh, let's pick up in Romans chapter 9, verse 19. Romans chapter 9, verse 19. And I will admit that this, this is a very difficult section if you don't look at it within the context of the entire book and the context of this chapter. That's why we're looking at the context so we can better understand what Paul is saying and how it applies to our life. You will say to me then, why does God still find fault? For who resists his will? On the contrary, who are you, O oh man, who answers back to God? Will the thing molded say to the molder, why did you make me like this? Or does not the potter have authority over the clay to make from the same lot one vessel for honor and one for dishonorable use? And what if God, and what if God, wanting to demonstrate his wrath and to make his power known, endured with much patience the vessels of wrath having been prepared for destruction, in order that he might make known the riches of his glory upon vessels of mercy, which he prepared beforehand for glory, even us, whom he called, not from among the Jews only, but also from among the Gentiles. As he also says in Hosea, I will call those who are not my people, my people, and her who is not beloved, beloved. And it shall be that in the place where it was said to them, you are not my people, there shall be called son. There they shall be called sons of the living God. We'll stop right there. Do you see this in the context? He is having a conversation and he's imagining what they are thinking and what they are asking. And he's answering those questions he imagines they're asking. And his answer is, God is God. And what God does behind the scenes is God's prerogative. D does, the, does the clay ask the potter anything about what the potter is doing? No, the clay just goes along with what the potter is doing. And, and if he builds one pot for this use and one pot for that use, that's his prerogative. He is the potter. This is God's prerogative as the potter. Paul is pointing to the purpose of what God has done in the past, not necessarily what he's doing right now and not what he would be doing in the future. But Paul is saying, if you look to the past, you can see that God was making things and doing things in order to bring about what you are experiencing now. And that is a relationship with God through Christ. So don't look at what the Jews have done. Don't look at who the Gentiles have been. Look at who God is and what he has done for the whole world and what he has made and whom he has sent. Because God is God. He is the potter. We are the clay. Let's just listen and let's just follow and let's serve him in our life. Let's go to God in prayer. Dear God, I thank you so much for the blessings you give us. Father, I thank you that you are God and people are not because we would mess things up. But you had a plan and you have a purpose. And Father, help us join ourselves to you through Christ and live out our lives for you. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you again for joining me and allowing me to spend time with you in God's word. I look forward to these lessons. I look forward to being with you again the next time. Until then, my prayer is, as always, that God will bless your day.